Move or be moved seems to be part of black heritage. The Brady Bunch in ship hold slaves, forced to combine families upon landing, jumping the broom like street sweeper marriages. Pardon me, Miss Unfair Skin Colonizer, jogging down whole blocks of black excellence. But we don't need any more dollies running around the hood bringing my property value up. Call it the red line radius of racism circumference. It's too damn hot to be doing all this moving in the first place. Now you want to call cops on tots just trying to sell beverages? God, I need you to haul this weight off my shoulders, leaning on him for leverage. Bouncing down the thoroughfare, too many topics because you can't unpack intersectional issues all separate. We affiliate moving with comedic buffoonery because packing up your entire life to relocate is hilarious. Is our history of forced migration the reason that change always gonna come so naturally to us? How we can roll with the punches because a two piece and a biscuit to the chin ain't nothing but some lunch. Punch drunk and punch drunk and love for the struggle, but it's high time I admit it was never love, it's always been lust. Because with lust comes obsession. We're fixated on white saviors. That's what our money say in God we trust. The same currency used to betray hours time after time when they drop our stuff. Bust our backs, trying to get dead white men to lighten the load. Only for them to, only for them to forget the boxing of culture back in the newly gentrified home. Real quick, we're sick and tired of starting over. This shit's getting old. This sounds like ancient wisdom of black communities, but really it's just speaking life into people like me until individually we become whole. These broken souls is too cumbersome to lug around. We need some place to settle down and roots to take hold. For family trees to grow, providing shade when it's hot, and food to store away right before it turns cold. Where jobs won't turn your way just because you made a mistake that had you in state property clothes. And you ain't seen as an angry black man because you couldn't smile on the days that the storm clowns were low. And the liquor stores are closed because the wine hoes finally realize ain't no motherfucking answers in their real old. And there are plenty of public transportation options in case your ride ever decides to go ghost. Whip a peel to wear the dodo so there's no more gold digging holes. Because niggas finally realize that money equals providing security so they don't mind splurging on the chick that they chose. You can't blame people for the root of all evil when the lack of it was providing all the motive. When you're a check away from abject poverty by any means necessary becomes automatic. Call it automotive. Which is all the more reason we need our own shit like black wall streets and black shield walls of our own police forces. Because history is repetitive to those who forget, who remember, now. Because history is repetitive to those who forget Tulsa like the Alamo. We real re Buffalo soldier on against any Klansmen that try to force my brethren to move again. They get an ass full of air forces, they can't even walk one mile in, much less carry the burden of my ancestors through the middle passage. Move or be moved is still the blackest part of our heritage, but now it's reversed. Look at us. We're the captains now to you, Phillips. Thank you. Oh.